Okay, all right, so we're gonna, these are some really basic fundamental drills that we're gonna work on. So, uh, Zach, you wanna introduce yourself? Zach Moore, retired NFL player, Super Bowl champion, 2014, New England Patriots. Okay, so yeah, so we're, we're, we're you know, he works with a bunch of athletes, we're gonna do some things together, but uh, I worked with the Seahawks in 1996 uh, and seven, and I think 85 or 86, uh, working on techniques to help them better in football. But we're just today, we're just working on some real basic fundamentals. And so for you martial artists, you know that this, these are just simple drills. I like to teach this beginning because it's this is what we call the uh, ECUS or X, because this will help someone with no experience to start getting a rhythm that and then starting to put footwork. So I'll have Zach come in and he just starts walking toward me. All right. Then I'll walk back at him. Okay, good. And what this is developing is that hand-eye foot coordination at a very basic level, right? And then we work side to side. So he's gonna follow me side to side, but right. alternate, you know. So wherever I go, he'll stay with me, right? He's working the X, just like that, okay? And then the next one we work is uh, uno, sos, cuatro, number one, two, and four angles. So we just go high, low, high, okay? Again, starting off developing the hand-eye foot coordination. Because when he first started this, he was like this, you know, just kind of watching the sticks. Mm -hmm. Now he's starting to develop that, what I talked about, is being able to, to keep an eye on everything that's going around you, but still be aware of where your, uh, basically I'd say your opponent is, you know, when you're playing football, okay, or on the street, okay? Next one, this is good for linemen, I think, too, is understanding the center and not overturning. The thing that I've always taught in martial arts is, I always said, where the spine is aligned, everything's good. So if I wanna take someone down, if I can just come in very quickly and just, Get their spine where it's turned it weakens them it doesn't take much so i could take someone like zach down very easy i showed him this before just turning his chin to one side and slam him to the ground so the thing is you're stronger as a player in football if you're saving offensive lineman if you can keep that spine aligned if you start to turn like this it's going to weaken them right so they tend to want to move a lot of times they they move the upper body without the lower body and the idea is to consistently be centering no matter where they they move especially in pass rush so this drill helps them we call this top top because they're 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 not moving the sticks you can see how i'm moving my waist like this they're going to move their body so they're starting to move their core as they do this exercise right and then we do three levels we call this pi pi and three levels is cop cop so they go high and they middle and then this gets them down in a deep stance where they're going to be a lot deeper in, in pass rush right they're going to be in a deeper stance bending down like this Okay, because the idea is to get down deeper here, okay, to have to, especially to come underneath the shoulder pads on a, and what position were you? You were defensive end. Defensive end, yeah. from where he wants to get by him. And, and like I was telling, telling Zach, you know, if I get down low and I control him, I can, Leverage. yeah, because you, how, how much do you weigh? 280. So he's 280, I'm 220 on a good day, <laughs> but I don't eat too much. And I'm 5'9", he's what, 6'6". Six, six. Six, six, yeah. So, you know, you can use that. Obviously, I've used this for years in teaching martial arts on how do I take on a bigger opponent on, uh, if I was in a street situation. But in football, it's, it's again, it's, it's not necessarily always size that wins the opponents. It's, it's basically understanding centering. Uh, how do you control that center line and to have the advantage against your opponent on the line, okay? So then we, we progress into a little bit harder one, which he's been working on. We call it Heaven Six. And this is where you're, you're, you're gonna start really develop the skill set. So you're gonna point all this, all your sticks are pointed up, right? When we do this drill, right? Keep keeping this. This, this pattern is a little difficult to learn in the beginning, okay? But as you train, you'll start to pick ah, up the okay, pace. Yeah. yeah. Now, why this is important? Okay, I'm going to learn this. The same thing. It's, it's he'll he'll stay with me. He's gonna. It's that hand-eye foot coordination. This is one of the big drills that I use with the the Seahawks, the Seahawks many years. Okay, getting them out, working on with the sticks like this. So he's just in the beginning phase of learning that, but I think where this will translate, we're gonna drop our sticks for a minute, is because in the point, anytime here, so let's say if, if I'm a, a defensive player and an offensive line, he, he's starting to stop me in pass rush like this, then traditionally a lot, the swim, you know, they're gonna come over here like this. And, and, and as I told Zach, if, if I can open this line, right, if I can open his center line like this, I have com control all the time. Right? Mm -hmm. Because now I can choose, you know, if, if I want to bump and move them this way, right? Or if I want to pull and move this way, what I want to do is open that center line. Okay. And a lot of times as I move, 
if you look at the same thing, if I open like this, okay, it's gonna be the same pattern that we use like here. So let's just maybe put one hand. Let's say from uh, a more combative approach and he threw the rear hand punch, right? I mean, like the sugar punch. So I go one, two, three. This is the same pattern we're doing at the stick. See, one, two, three. So let's say if I went one, two, three and he stopped, my hand, so I'm gonna block the next one, right? So I go like this, you block it, I go one, two, three. It's the same pattern that I'm doing with the sticks. All this will translate into football because you're gonna use the same handwork, whether I come off and I open that center line like this, inward backhand, I'll be using the same kind of hand pattern. So the idea is as we train this, it develops that muscle memory so that the reactions become quick. And so when those hands come up, then you're very quickly getting through the line. If he passes me, and my offensive player, so I'm gonna put the hands, and he tries to do a swim, then my goal is consistently, how do I get those hands off very quickly? We're gonna go slow motion. So he goes here, he goes to swim. A lot of times this will, will happen, right? And then they'll start to turn, they miss them, right? The first thing I wanna do is when he swims, he comes up here, I wanna regain control of that. So it's all that hand speed and what we call uh, sensitivity based upon touch, you know, reaction speed based upon touch. A lot of times players are judged on how fast they run a 40 yard dash is what makes them fast. But a lot of it's happening in, in this, this line, that quick. Like how it immediately, how fast am I gonna get past this guy? Or how fast do I, or how my job is to hold him from rushing the quarterback, right? So we break down speed in a couple things. First one is initiation speed. So if Zach's up here, I'm gonna throw a punch and he's gonna block it. It, it, it's it's again how fast when he's he sees that does he get to block see that punch okay or is it a kick right he doesn't know right so but how fast is he's going to react to that okay then it's like uh that's so my initiation speed then would be like said how fast i throw a punch so a player has to have initiation speed right especially if it's a say offensive lineman and they know the play and they're waiting for the call to go they think how fast they're going to decide to initiate and also reaction, right? He's got to learn to react. So if I move, he's going to react on something. So there's reaction speed based upon sight, right? So initiation speed is how fast I attack. Reaction speed is, let's say he throws his punch at me, okay, how fast I can react off that punch when I see it coming. And then the next one is touch. So when he touches me, how fast can I feel that right here? How fast can I get it? Some guys are slow. They're slow to that. And so I identify a player, I work with them on drills to make them faster on that, right? And then there's mental speed. You know, you gotta make the mental decision. When I come up here, I'm starting to go here, but now the, the lineman, the defensive lineman sees the play shift, he's gotta now make a decision yep. to pull. So it's a lot of hand game that we get in here. And so a lot of that speed in developing an athlete is what do we do right here to develop that speed? Because yeah, we break away, yeah, 40-yard 40, 40 dash is important, yeah. but if they're still stuck at the line, it doesn't do any good. Okay, so these are just some of the basics we work on, uh, obviously with footwork drills, timing drills, uh, power drills, all the things that Zach and I work in to, to really be basically enhance athletic proficiency.